Get out! Get! <laughs> hey everyone, it's Club Quake. Welcome to another episode of Pizza Quake, where you get to know a little bit more about me and I answer your questions. So, I am back from my little mini vacation in Vegas and it was awesome! So many awesome memories were made and I didn't do a vlogish type thing for you. I don't know if I should post. I did get some video of the event. You guys know I went to EDC, um, but I don't know. I didn't plan a vlog. I think the first time I went when it was in Vegas, I did do a vlog. But, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to some questions. I took these questions from Facebook, and the first question is from Adriona, and she asks, what was your favorite thing about Vegas besides the music festival? So, I have to say, one thing that really made the experience 10 times better was all of us getting a house together. So we got a house together. There was about 20 plus people and Red actually organized getting the house, getting the money, paying, finding the house and all of that. And it was awesome. It made the experience so much better because, so we would leave to the event around 7 p.m. and it would go, it would start from 6 to 6, um, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and we would pretty much close it out uh, every single night. And when we come back home, we would go to sleep around like nine. We would stay up and talk about it a bit more. And then we would wake up like around three and then we'd spend the rest of the day in the pool, just chilling, hanging out with our friends. If you weren't in the pool, you were just like hanging out in the backyard. We had a putt-putt course. So it was really awesome. And it was just a place where all of us some people who weren't staying with us at the, the house were staying at hotels and they actually came and met us there and just went swimming and it was just really awesome and it made the experience 10 times better. So my favorite part was just being able to hang out with all of my awesome friends and there was no drama, no anything. Everything just went perfectly smooth like it should have and that was one of my favorite parts besides the festival because that was fun as well. So. That is the first question. Our second question comes from Jesse, who asks, how do you get around copyright laws when you're posting gameplay? So, one of the main reasons why I'm with a network is because the network takes care of that for you. So when you're under a network, you don't have to worry about copyright strikes unless they specifically say, um, like Nintendo specifically says, you cannot post any gameplay on uh, YouTube. Um, but it's really hard to when you're not under a network because then you would have to get every permission from every single game that you play and put on your channel. You would have to get permission um, to do so and you'd have to get written permission and you'd have to, you know, write back and forth to YouTube and tell them and explain to them you have written permission to do so and it's just a big headache. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm with a network because it's kind of like this safety umbrella that you don't have to worry about that type of stuff. But I know that Minecraft has expressed that you can post the gameplay. Some games do express that they allow you to post the gameplay. You just have to really look into it. So that's how you kind of get around the copyright laws. As for music, it's the same thing. Um, with networks, you still need the permission um, from these uh, different uh, producers to use their music. You need written permission. Um, and I usually contact them directly and just ask for permission. Uh, just, for the most part, they're, they're really nice about it and they're more than happy to let you use their music as long as you credit them, which is something that you should do. So that is really how I find my way around copyright laws is because, or it's not finding a way around, it's just uh, the company that you're with, signed under, already has a deal with these other gaming companies. So um, that is a main reason why I am with the network. So the last question comes from Lexi who asks, do you plan on adding any more gameplay series to your channel? So I do. Actually, when I got back from Vegas, I was just so excited to get started and I was like really and excited and energized to start something new and like make a new series and I have a bunch of new series planned up I have an indie game you guys know I love indie games but one thing is I don't like how slow I progress 
through the actual playthroughs and I don't really like doing playthroughs unless it's really open-ended and it has an open ending and you can change the ending depending on how you play the game so what I decided to do is I'm gonna go ahead and start an indie series where I play indie games I play them for an hour and then I cut down the video into five minutes of the, what I think was the best parts within those hour uh, that hour and um, you guys can get a gist of the game and if you guys enjoy it or like it you can thumbs up the video and maybe I'll post more of it and if not I'll move on to a new game and if I like it then I'll post more of it and if not then I'll move on to a new game so that's really kind of the best of both worlds for me is just because I can kind of relax a little bit more and speed through the games more and not worry about being entertaining 100% of the time because that's one of the big things about commentating um, that I find is very uh, frustrating sometimes I just want to relax and play a game and I don't feel like talking um, so that's one series that I'm gonna do we're also going to bring up red and I are going to bring back um, husband versus wife we're gonna get on that we're gonna start posting it probably this weekend I know we said that like a month ago but for realsies this is coming from me for realsies we're gonna start posting that soon also we are starting a new Minecraft series together it's no longer newbieweds because we're not newlyweds anymore technically we are but um, we're going to start another Minecraft gameplay together, and I'm also going to start another Minecraft gameplay series with another female, another girl, which I'm really excited about. And what else am I going to do? Um, I don't know. There's a lot of things. I'm also going to uh, start to bring back DIY geeky goodies because I kind of was slacking on that. Um, I was. It was really hard for me to find a balance between Quick and Bake and my girly channel doing those DIYs and doing mishmash and doing gameplay for this channel. Um, and so I am gonna start to bring those back. I was telling Red that I really need to get on it and just like start looking at Pinterest and get inspired through different things. If you guys have any suggestions of things that you guys want me to make or have an idea of something, uh, feel free to tweet me. Um, I do mostly, most of the time, see all of my tweets, but I don't respond to all of them. Or you can leave a comment on the Facebook fan page. So. That was a lot to take in. Wow, I was talking really fast, I'm sorry. But yes, I'm really excited for this channel. It is growing still very rapidly and I want to keep it entertaining for you guys and interesting and fun and uh, I am not gonna let it die and I'm not gonna let it get stale. So I'm really excited and yeah, so that is it for the questions. Um, if you guys would like to ask me a question, you can follow me on my Facebook fan page. That's where I usually ask for the questions on Thursday afternoons. So now we can go ahead and get to the Gamer of the Week. So Gamer of the Week is suggested by you guys, another gamer in the YouTube community who plays games or does geeky game-like related stuff. So this week's Gamer of the Week is Kitty Ravage. So it is another female gamer and she plays Minecraft, of course, Bioshock Infinite. Uh, she does play a lot of random uh, indie games as well. She is a really good commentator and she has a really smooth, delightful voice. So go check her out. I'm gonna annotate, annotate, <laughs> annotate out to her channel. Um, if you guys would like to suggest someone for Gamer of the Week, just leave a comment below, put GOTW, and leave their YouTube name, and I will check them out. So, thank you guys so much for watching. That is today's episode. I'm trying to do this fast because my, my, my SD card just gave out on me, and I'm using the 16 gig one instead of the 64, so I need to go buy a new one. So that's why I'm talking really fast, and it keeps, like, stopping recording, and then I have to press record again. It's really frustrating. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend, an awesome, awesome weekend, and an awesome Friday, and I will see you guys later. Bye!